I'm going to give some useful tips that will help you score well in the forthcoming university exams. In general, uh, first of all, what is primarily very important is a thorough, comprehensive preparation is needed. Most of the time, it is my observation that the students do not prepare all the five units and then attempt the exam. That is going to basically mess up. So essentially, it is quite uh, important that you study all the five units. Do not make a selective preparation for the exam, like studying two units or studying part of a unit and then making some guesses that perhaps this unit is important, that unit is important and leaving some topics. So primarily, it is quite important that you make a comprehensive preparation for the subject. A 2020 like uh, paradigm is not going to work out. Preparing for one or two days before the exam is not going to work out. So essentially, a quite good uh, amount of time has to be devoted uh, for the preparation. Secondly, please do not read the subject from any guides or any particular notes. You have to basically prepare it from the standard textbooks. Learn the subject from the standard textbooks. Then when you come to the paper, what is primarily very important is uh, how to attempt the paper. Some students make a selection of questions which are not going to give or fetch good number, good number of marks. So therefore, you have to be very judicious in terms of making a selection of the questions. Which questions should I attempt so that I get more marks? And thirdly, what uh, is my observation during the evaluation process is, uh, when I ask the students how have you written the exam, they say we have written well. But when I personally evaluate and then I see that they put some just brief points and then they draw the diagram and they feel that uh, basically they have done well. It is not like that. When you are attempting the question, what is important is your presentation. Right? So first you have to introduce the topic. Suppose for example in the subject of operating system, a question is asking what is paging. So if you just uh, start writing paging, uh, like paging consists of uh, three steps and the organization of this, organization of second step, organization of third. No. First you have to introduce what is paging. It is a memory management. Right, memory management techniques are classified into contiguous and non-contiguous. Then you have to briefly tell what is contiguous, what is non-contiguous, then the drawbacks of each of them, and then come to the topic of page. Give elaborate, uh, uh, the, the, have elaborate discussion on the topic, and then if the uh, the topic involves some good diagram, draw neat diagrams, label the diagram, explain the diagram, right? And last point I would like to tell you that while making selection for the questions. What you have to do is, you see, if there are any numerical questions, please answer the numerical questions first. And do not miss the numerical questions. It, uh, some, many a times we observe that the students leave out the numerical questions. If you answer the numerical questions given in the subject, then essentially you stand a good chance to score very well. Okay? So these are some of the uh, tips what I thought I should share, uh, which you can follow for uh, attempting the university exams and score very well. Okay. Thank you. Today, I would like to give some tips which are very very useful to students here who are going to end the examinations here. If you follow my tips here, definitely you can improve marks in the examinations here. First tip, whenever you are going to examination on examination day, be cool. Don't think about other things. Please concentrate and focus on the day examination. Second point, second tip, if you go to the examination hall, after receiving the question paper, please go to the top to bottom, all the questions thoroughly, spend five to 10 minutes and give you all the questions here and choose the right question. You can confidently answer the question. And next, third tip here, after gone through the, all the questions here, once you start the answer, first question, write nicely without any overwritings. Why? First impression is best impression. Such a way that if you express your answer or first question in a better manner, then you can impress, you can satisfy the examination evaluator evaluator then you go on for second question third question like that another tip out of all the questions how to choose it 
I mentioned just important first question, easy question, which you can confidently answer. Next important tip, sometimes some questions are having A, B, C bits here. And whenever A, B, C bits are there, to answer for all A, B, C bits together. Next, some questions are going to be there, which related to the block, block diagrams or uh, pictorial form. Such questions you choose it here. Why? You can draw the diagram and you can answer it properly for that. You can score more marks also. That's a very, very important one. And next one is my main tip is don't write answers just for filling the papers, not like that. Quality of the answer is very, very important. Another important tip is here, whenever answer, suppose A, B, C, B subsections are there. And uh, ten, suppose example 10 marks are there. And they distribute 10 marks to A, B, C. Example, if A, B having the three marks here, that fellow writing two pages. Marks are three marks, writing two pages. Not like that. You have to answer the question depending on marks. Three marks means you have to write three marks size question. Ten marks means you can write the ten marks size of question here. That way you have to maintain the time. Another important tip is time management. Time management. Suppose example I tell you, if examination duration is three hours, five questions you are supposed to answer. Means uh, please allocate half an hour for each question. Means five, five hours means two and a half hours. Remaining half an hour time is there. And you can cross check it all the questions. Means uh, first question you allot for half an hour time management. After half an hour, immediately switch over to next question. Next half an hour. Then after completing of all five questions, uh, last half an hour going to be there, you can cross check it, go to the First question onwards, any leftovers are there. And you can add something and, and you can improve the quality of the answer. That's very, very important. Most of people are missing this one. Means that time management is very, very important. Next important one is a presentation. Some of the students are getting more marks. Same notes, same test books, and the same lecture notes. Even though some of the students are getting less marks because presentation means how to present, how to answer that should learn here. And one more important tip is don't buy hat because you are in a B.Tech. After successful completion of intermediate, you are going for B.Tech. Means uh, you try to read the answer and uh, try to learn the concept of the answer. Then you write it here. Some of the students, what they are doing, you know, they are by hearting the answer here, they are delivering the paper. Such a way that you can miss important points here. These are the very, very important ones. And another important one is, most of the students are missing. Before examination, don't talk to anybody. Next another tip is, before the examination, half an hour before, don't read a new question, answer. Whatever questions are studied, please review, that's all. Don't read a new answer or new question before the examination. So my suggestion advise you is, first read the entire paper once or twice, ascertain what questions you know very well, start with the best question you know, attempt it very nicely and then if there are any gaps, leave a gap and there is a space in between, just say PTO, just say please turn over and then leave a gap and then come back, revisit and then write over there. But don't write the answer in piecemeal, that will be a very, very tough task for the uh, examiner and then in the end you will lose up with marks. And one more thing I would like to emphasize is it is all our digital evaluations. There is a barcode at the bottom of each page. Please do not write anything on the barcode. In the sense, not even a stroke of a pen. For example, people write and then say just uh, put, the, put their uh, pen down. It goes on the barcode. The moment it something falls the barcode, it doesn't get scanned. It is a big process again for them. So again, you will be at a, a lot of loss. So be careful, just leave one line above the barcode. This could be for any exam you attempt. These are the, one of the important points. And then one more point is, uh, please write the last page attempted. There is, there is one provision here on the front, front page of the every each answer book, wherein you have to write the, 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 the last page done in, in the digits, say 1, 2, 1, 5, 2, 5, whatever, in the 32 page booklet. 
So this will confirm the, uh, the evaluator that you have written so many pages so that person will go till that page for evaluation. Otherwise, for example, if a few, a few people leave the gap of two, three pages and then they start writing somewhere else. So the, the evaluator may turn on the pages and then after that you may think there's nothing else over there. But when you write the end page, then they are very sure that this has been written over there and they'll go to the last page. These are the very few important things which I'm sure you will uh, uh, keep, keep in mind. And then write legibly. We don't want any calligraphy over there, but legible writing over there. And write each question with the sub questions very neatly on the left hand side of the uh, margin. Because if you don't write the question number, then then you end up losing marks. Over there. And one more thing is, uh, please refer to your notes, your textbook, and reference books. Nothing else. All the best. Preparation is one aspect. Presentation another aspect. First point to note is that. Have I understood the question properly? Get the question understood properly. First point. Second, what is the scope of the answer? How much should I answer? Marks allotted for that question paper given in the question paper would be an indication. Just see the marks and fix the answer. Then on a rough paper, on the rough, rough part of the question paper, make some important points. Present them. The next one is that Engineering is about picturization, visualization, equations, proofs and diagrams. Create a diagram, create a diagram, pictorially you show what you want to write. Examiner will not have a lot of time to go through all the words. Looking at the picture, the examiner or evaluator will gauge your answer, what is the quality of the answer and award marks accordingly. Write neatly. Do not waste space. 20 lines per page is the normal. Enough number of pages are given in the answer script. Answer them very well. Next, <clears throat> if the question paper is for 3 hours, then approximately you will get 20 to 25 minutes per question. Each question will have a sub part in it, which means that each question you will have to answer in seven to seven and a half minutes prepare your answer for five minutes only be ready to prepare answer or present your answer in five minutes what do you do with two and a half minutes accumulate all these two minutes seven questions seven into two, 14 to 15 minutes is 15 to 20 minutes or in the best case last half an hour should be for revision of the answer when you revise you will get to know what mistakes, inadvertent mistakes, unintentional mistakes you have done in the examination. Correction of that qualifies your answer, you will get better marks. Read topic by topic, read from notes and textbooks. After reading, revise and go through previous old question papers. While answering questions, start with the answer, the answer for which you know very well. Present the answer neatly. Answer the question in point by point rather as paragraphs. Give preference to draw diagrams and flowcharts. Answer according to the marks given to a question. Uh, I am going to propose a technique called Triplar Techniques. So in the Triplar Technique, the first R says read, the second R says remember, the third R says reproduce. Take the topic, read it thoroughly, understand it properly and then make the note of important points. Next, remember those important points. After remembering the important points, put them on the paper. You try to write them on the paper. Then you will be able to remember them forever. If you practice like this for every topic in all five units, I am sure definitely you will be able to get good marks in the examinations. Thank you. Hello everyone, for the exam point of view, the presentation is important. So when you write the question, explain that questions very clearly and try to elaborate it. Along with that, give the question number very clearly. Understand the questions properly. Based on that, if the students were asked to write, for example, five questions, they have to attempt all the questions. The question which they know very well, they are supposed to attempt first 
in the remaining questions they supposed to follow the question last question whatever question they might not know they might know partial answer in that case also they have to attempt it. thank you if you are writing the programming subject then you have to follow the procedure like the first one you have to introduce the answer to the particular question and then what is the syntax or general form to the specific question and then write the program also if they have not asked the program don't leave that give the one example program it may be a small program also so that it will create the impact that the student is well aware of the program so to get good marks in examinations the main important point is the presentation so whatever content you know you must present that contentation with good neat handwriting and moreover among five courses eight courses which are included దాంట్లో ఫైవ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ రాయాలి ఈ ఫైవ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ సెలెక్షన్ ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దాంట్లో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఏదైతే మీకు బాగా వచ్చు అది ఫస్ట్ నీట్గా ప్రజెంట్ అయ్యి ఈ పెనీ డయాగ్రామ్స్ అదే ద డయాగ్రామ్ మస్ట్ బీ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ విత్ నీట్ బోర్డర్ అండ్ పెన్సిల్ సో దట్స్ మై అడ్వైస్ టు గెట్ గుడ్ మార్క్ first thing student should be regular to the college then easily they will get interest towards the subjects most of the students uh, will do the same mistake before entering into the examination hall also they will prepare for the examination that is uh, a very 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 big mistake we do not uh, do such kind of mistakes why because whenever you are preparing like that the brain will be struck into that particular topic only after entering into the examination you will get that particular topics whatever you have prepared for before going to the examination in external exams i'm going to give you one new tip and the tip is maintain a good notes and refer previous question papers so that you will be aware of the pattern of question and all the best all of you